Hello, Missouri Mama here. My name is Nina, and today I thought I would share with you my most recent BoxyCharm Drop Shop haul. And then I would share with you some of the stuff I've gotten through there. Drop Shop, Mega Drop Shop, Flash Sales, whatever. With you to show you kind of like what I think is the best part of getting BoxyCharm every month is when they have their shit, their sales you can get some really awesome deals in there some things I won't remember what I paid for them a lot of them I probably won't so let's get on into it and I will show you what I got so first up I got this studio makeup tinted moisturizer I wanted to try this out because I thought it would be really good for the summer when it's like super hot. Um, I got the shade a little bit dark for me. But it seems to blend out pretty good. So... There's that, and I paid less than $10. I don't remember the price right now. And I also got this Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation, and it's actually what I used today to do my makeup. Um, this one feels good. I, like, it doesn't feel heavy or, like, like you have something on your face. I don't remember what. Oh, I got 250. And this is not the shade of it. It's just the color of the packaging. But I got that, and I really like the way it feels. So, this is something I will probably end up getting again. If they have it available again. We'll see. I'm going to continue wearing it and see how it feels the rest of the day. I will leave an update in the description box as well, if I remember, or in the comments. And then this I remember the price of because I thought it was a really good deal. It was five dollars. This is the Levita Inspired by Nature Age Away Hydrating Cream. And it doesn't have a lot of like a lot of stuff in it, and it does have a lot of stuff that sounds really good. So this is the container. It is a 50 ml bottle um it has a pretty natural scent to it. it smells good it felt good i used it today to try it out and like the way it felt it didn't like make my makeup go on weird or anything so i really like this and it was only five dollars and i know that was a huge discount from what it said the retail was so i'm happy with that purchase and then I think this was five dollars as well. It is the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Liquid Eyeshadow Mini Set. Actually, did not read enough on this to see that it was a mini set. No, it's I probably wouldn't have got it, but it will be fun to try out. So space and disco is what I got. And there's itty bitty little bottles. They'll be fun to try out and kind of see what I think. And then these were $12 a piece. I got two of the Natasha Denona 5 eyeshadow palettes that they had. I got Jubilee. I thought it was, I really like these two colors. And then I thought these ones I would definitely end up using. This one, I will have to see. But I had to use all of these. Really nice packaging. I'm really excited to get this. And then this one was in premium at one point. But they had it in shops. It's called Cupid and I wanted to get it. It's more neutral colors, more brownies. But I do like to wear browns when I'm going somewhere like important or just don't feel like standing out in any kind of way that day um 
So I thought this one would be a nice one to get. Really like the shades on here. Natasha Denona is supposed to be like a really, really good brand of makeup. So, and I figured, you know, this is like at, you know, prices I would pay at like Walmart or CVS for an eyeshadow palette. Maybe a little bit bigger, but the quality is definitely better in this. So, I'm excited I got that. And then this, I think, was $8. It, looks tiny there's the violet Voss donut fun sized eyeshadow palette donut care <laughs> so this does have a mirror let me just put that backwards it's got these really cute little shades let me take this shade saver off some really pretty shimmers and then some really nice mattes i thought this would be really fun to play with we're gonna come up with some pretty cute looks with it and I've been wanting to try the Violet Voss formula, see what I think. So that way I know if I need to look out for more palettes by them. Or anything else by them. And then I got this one because it was super cheap. It's not a tiny palette, but it was only five bucks during the sale. It's Illuminati times Issa? I have no idea. Who that person is. The shade taper off. But this one was on sale for five bucks. He's got some nice colors in here I thought would be fun to play with. We got a really pretty shimmery black. We got some glittery colors here and here. Some nice shimmers. Like a really pretty pastel colors right here. So for five bucks I thought this would be fun to play with. Get some colors I didn't have. And uh, my daughter likes playing with the glittery shades, so I thought that'd be fun for her as well. And for five bucks, seemed like a great deal. Didn't really pass it up. So I got that. And then in some of the stuff I've gotten since I've had BoxyCharm off of their sales. There's quite a bit because when I got BoxyCharm, I had only been back into makeup for a little while and I barely had anything um I hadn't really done a lot in skincare either so yeah there's a lot of stuff I got over the time I've had it which is since January which isn't that long but anyways so first off I got this loose highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills it's in peach biz I haven't tried this one yet um I need to get it out of, like, keep it out of the drawer for a little while so I'll actually remember to use it. I got this one because I really wanted to try it. And I'm tearing up the box, which is fine because I don't want the box. Anyways. Oh, my, the packaging is so adorable. It's all glittery. It's gonna, it should have a, yeah, it has a little sticker in there. But it's a really pretty peach highlighter color. There we go. Uh, that'd be really pretty. Could also use that as like a, sh a blush topper. So super, uh, not at all disappointed in this. Still happy I got that. I got this for me and for my daughter to use because kids were making fun of her for having thick eyebrows. So this is just a little electric shaver type thing. It like it doesn't pull the hairs and it doesn't like your skin can't get cut by it it's got this little great thing where the hair sticks in there and then it gets chopped up it doesn't get super close but it's a lot better for her than you know plucking or shaving her eyebrows I don't really want her doing that so I got this and she actually likes to use it so definitely worth I think it paid like nine bucks for it to me, it was worth it because it helps her out. And then I ordered these for me. They're little um, water globes for face care. They feel so good when you put your serum on and you just kind of like rub it in with these. Or even just you know, rubbing these on your face feels good actually. Um, these I think I paid 12 bucks for and... 
it was cheaper than buying them anywhere else online because shipping kind of sucks for these but super happy with these i absolutely love them they feel so good and they're pretty to look at and play with <laughs> all right some of my lip products i've gotten off of their sale i got this kaja Earhart in boo it's a little lipstick and i i've used it shaped like a heart i really like the color i really like how it feels i don't regret this whatsoever i absolutely love it and i think it was like five bucks for less somewhere around five bucks and then i also got this itty bitty little uh, anastasia beverly hills lipstick in dead roses it's a matte lipstick not actually sure if I got, I may have gotten this from Ipsy. I'm not really sure, but I thought it was BoxyCharm. And it's just really like mauve brown color. And I mean, it was super cheap. Um, I don't regret buying it, but it is a shade I'm going to have to get used to. I'm not sure if I like the shade on me. And then from BoxyCharm, I got this Pure Times Barbie. Super cute packaging. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And it's super interesting the way it opens. You, like, push on the top, push in, and it pops out the bottom. And I've worn this color, and I really like it. Feels super good. I mean, look at that. It's even got it printed on it. There's a Barbie head right there. Super pretty. Really love the packaging on that. And then I also got from BoxyCharm this Tarte Maneater uh, Plumping Gloss in the shade Mauve. And this one was, stu was super cheap. This is one of, the, one of the things I got in my first order with this. And I've used it. And this is the only plumping gloss I've tried that really works except for my LA Girl lip plumper but this works like way better I actually really like this one and then I got this lip balm by Milk Makeup it is a tinted lip balm I got the shade Bubble and I've used it a lot it feels so good on it really does like help hydrate and heal lips i've used it several times it works amazing that's something i definitely will order again even if i had to order it from the company itself and then i got this little huda booty amethyst obsessions palette and i've used it i really like it um you can see where i went at it on this palette super pretty absolutely happy with this love it i don't remember how much i paid for it but it, i mean it was like six bucks maybe somewhere around there not 100 percent sure on that as well and let's see i also got this a while back it's the natasha Denona peak palette and it's got some really nice shades more of the neutral type shades but I mean, I'll wear it. I'll use it. And it was 12. It's always 12 for those, I think. And then I also got this Unicorn Dust by Trend Beauty. And I think this was only like 4 bucks or 3 bucks. It's just some really pretty highlighters. I have used it. Tried out the colors with my daughter. Um... I was expecting a little bit more like blue, purple, pink, but I'm, I still like it. I still use it. I'm still happy with it. And this I got a while back, right after it was in the premium. I paid a little bit more than this, more for this than I have anything else on their site. Just some Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. I saw a lot of people using this one. I saw pictures of it everywhere and I just absolutely loved the colors super reflective the colors are pretty 
really pretty. I really like these ones right here. So I really wanted to try this out. I haven't yet, but I definitely will. And then I also got this Beauty Curations Cali Glow Palette. Um, I used this highlighter today right here. Just three highlighters. I don't, I mean, I think I can use all of these. Happy with that. I know I didn't pay much for it. It was super cheap. And then I also got this 80 Baby Pinky Rose Cosmetics Palette. This one I also got super cheap. It's got some fun colors in here. I mean, it's got some purpley shade, pink, blue. Oh, there we go. Really pretty colors. Really fun to play with. This is part of one of my first orders, and I got this because it was super cheap. I'm not sure if I got this on BoxyCharm or somewhere else. I think it was BoxyCharm, but I'm not 100% sure. It is the Dito Venus Limited Edition palette. And I just fell in love with how it looks on the inside. All the little planets. And wherever I got it, I know I didn't pay very much for it. Um, when it comes to like the more neutral streets, I don't wear them enough to spend much on them. So... Super pretty, really love the glitters and sparkly bits in there. And then I got this in a bundle. I don't remember how much I paid for the bundle. I remember getting it in a bundle. I really like the packaging on here. Mm. Let me just cover up the mirror with something. And Look at those colors. So pretty. Really like those. The packaging is super nice and heavy duty. Really like it. Really happy with that. And now we will get into some of the more like skincare or care or whatever. So I got this detox hair serum and I like to use this like an hour or two before I get in the shower I just put it like right on like the scalp and rub it in let it set for a while and then I take a shower and wash it out with my shampoo and stuff um the if you go and look it up it says to put in your hair after you shower I tried that once I mean, my hair looks super oily. I did not like it whatsoever. But when I do it before I shower, it really does, like, make my scalp feel really nice. Like, really good. Um, I think I paid six bucks for this whole bottle. And it's lasting a long time. And then I also got this rose water setting spray. I wanted it because it's rose scented and it's a setting spray. So I thought I would try it out. It was cheap on their site. I really enjoy this. I like the way it smells. I love rose, so that's why I like the way it smells. And then I also got this Vike Gentle Oil Free Makeup Remover Spray. And you spray this on and then you go wash your face off. And it really helps take the makeup off. Breaks it down for you. Makes it easier to wash all of it off. And then I also got this Lunata Beauty protect me heat protectant spray for when you like straighten your hair curl it whatever um i've tried this and i like it works really good i'm just not straightening my hair right now so i'll probably be letting my daughter use it so it doesn't just sit and go to waste but i did really like this and then i got for skincare i got this it was nine bucks it's the one 111 one, one Skin Antioxidant Energizing Essence. 
I like the way this feels. I like the way it smells. I put it on right after my serum. It just feels real nice. Smells real good. Um, and then for when we go camping, I wanted to get this case because it's super hard. I mean, it's hard plastic. It's not getting crushed or bent or nothing. Thought it would be good to put in my camping stuff. I figured, you know, it comes with some makeup brushes. But I also figured, you know, I could put like, not my Natasha's no-no palettes, but some cheaper, smaller palettes. I figured I could put most of my makeup like right in here that I'm going to take with me. Put my foundation in there, mascara, whatever. I'd be able to fit, you know, a couple brushes and whatnot in there. Or if I use like one of my um, leather cases that wrap up, I can just put most of my makeup in here and maybe like stuffing or something and it'll help hold it in place. I don't have to worry about anything bumping off on it and whatnot. That was the idea I had anyways. And I know I got this set really cheap with the case and everything. Um, the brushes are, are a really good brand from what I hear, what I've heard on YouTube. Like watching videos and stuff, everybody says this is a good brand. Um, then I also got this Grown Alchemist Biological Beauty Matte Balancing Moisturizer. This was super cheap. And then I also got the Dermalect Rapid Repair Facial Moisturizer. It was super cheap. Not like originally, but in their sale. It was on it was a super discounted item, both of these. And then I also got this Corez Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Facial. Um, I've used this. I love the way it smells. Feels really good. Definitely um, absorbs into the skin nicely. Oh, it smells amazing. I really enjoy this product. Just after I do all my other skincare, just put this on and go to bed. Feels wonderful. Really like it. So, that is everything that I could remember getting. Um, I actually see a couple more items already that I got off of there. Um, I did get this KVD Dazzle stick off of there. This is really pretty pinky color. Maybe it's a bronzy color. I don't know. It's a nice shadow stick. I really loved it. Really excited to have gotten it. And then I got a three pack of these eye crayons. And these were five bucks for all three. I really wanted to try out the black and the blue. The green I'll try out. I just wasn't as excited for green. But five bucks for three of them. They go on really smooth. I did them, I tried them out on my hand before. And then I also got this little guy because he's so cute. And this is a Petite Bunny Gloss Bar by Tony Moly. I just thought it was adorable. So I had to get him. It's a pinky color. Super, super adorable. And then I also got the QBD Lockets Powder Foundation in Fair. I like this. I used it today over my foundation just lightly. Really like it and I absolutely adore the packaging. And I think that is about it. I probably missed something knowing me. But that's everything I can remember. So it's just to show you like an example of some of the stuff you can find on their drop shop. Um, my favorite part about getting boxes is being able to look at their drop shop and find some really awesome deals on some really nice stuff, whether it be skincare, makeup, tools, whatever. So, I just thought I would share with you guys and let y'all see kind of what all I've gotten from their shop and why I like it so much. So. I will leave a link to BoxyCharm in the description box. If you use my link to sign up, I get some points towards free product. 
Um, it's not a lot of points, so if you don't want to use my link, that's fine. You can just go to boxycharm.com and sign up that way. Or maybe find somebody else and use their link that gets, like, some sort of benefit out of it besides points. I don't know if there is anybody else who gets anything besides points. I'm not sure. So, thank you and have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye.